So a few months ago, we flew to an island in the middle of the North Atlantic Ocean. That place was called Madeira, or Madeira, as the Portuguese would say. So here is the Madeira story. Day one, pick up our cool BMW. But we only got it because we can't drive automatic cars, so <laughs> they had to give us a manual one at the last minute, and this is the only one they had. Uh, Lizzie meant the opposite of that. We were pretty tired. Drive up the mountains and through the clouds to go on something called the Levada Walk. What is a Levada Walk, you ask? You walk along an old school irrigation system built as early as the 15th century. You know, classic Madeira stuff. See a waterfall and another waterfall. Nobody gets sick of waterfalls. Head to dinner and Lizzie makes a new friend. That's, That's you me. when you want to eat. Food. <laughs> Next day, take a cable car to the top of the city. It was uh, pretty humid that day. Look cool, you look like a surfer check. It's so poofy. <laughs> Explore a beautiful garden, then head to a sledge car. Yes, in Madeira, they attach skis to the bottom of baskets. You hop in said basket, and then two men wearing pretty fancy hats push you down a concrete hill. This is what they call fun in Madeira. And then after dinner, our waiter shows us his secret winemaking machine. The traditional Madeirian wine press. This rock here, it goes, we pull, push the grapes to the middle, bar here, we turn this right uh, It's right like a little down, dance. It can, it can it's like we have to dance yeah. to make our wine. We head to a wine cellar and then Lizzie tries to be a wine connoisseur. Very sweet, almost tastes like, um, like a syrup, a really fruity kind of syrup. Next day, a quick tour around the main city, Funchal. Hit up one of the oldest bars to have a local drink called Pancha. It was packed with quite a puncha. I'll, uh, I'll just see myself out with my dad jokes. Just a second. And then they asked me to eat peanuts and take the peanut shells and just throw them on the ground because apparently that's tradition at this bar. Chris was so weirded out by it. He couldn't do it. He held the, he held the shell for like a good five minutes and was like, there's a garbage right there. You can't possibly do it. Then drive one hour up the mountain to a spot called Pico de Arialo. P Pico de... Pico de Ari... Pico de Ari... Drive to the top of Madeira. This spot was incredible. Like how breathtaking is this landscape? Day four, quick dance in a parking garage, then off to do some whale watching. Now you're probably asking yourself, did you find any animals? Heck yeah, we did. Then parasailing. Overall, not a bad way to experience the city. Day five, the day we didn't plan anything. P.S. It goes really well. Start off by getting stuck in traffic. C could, could you move? Find a rock pillar sticking out of the ocean. Then we stumble across the cutest Portuguese restaurant. 12 euros later, we have two hamburgers, two coffees, two drinks, and two ice creams. Then we find a spot for epic landscape photography. See a fruit stand and then eat some mystery fruit. What is, what is the fruit you're about to give us? Anona. This is Anona. Like it's soft. It's like a soft it's apple. It's really good. Last day, the day that we were leaving, it was about a half an hour before we needed to be at the airport. I looked over to Lizzie and I was like, there's only one more photo I need to get and it's 15 minutes away, which gives us enough time to take exactly one more photo. We race there, I throw the drone up in the sky and I take the exact photo I wanted to get before we left. So now you guys know a little bit about this place called Madeira. And guess what? I still haven't gotten better at saying Madeira. Anyways, guys, that place is dope. You should check it out. Okay, bye. Peace.